Hello everyone! Both the base Makan and the tricked out turbo have the body equally reliably protected from rust, and the paintwork did not let us down. Unless on the first cars, which were already 7 years old, small chips and scratches began to appear on the front of the case. Chrome plated deco elements also suffer. In Russian conditions, they do not differ in particular durability and become cloudy after a few winters, losing their presentation. On experienced specimens, the front wiper mechanism becomes unusable. In general, the prices for Macan spare parts buy it as indeed for replacement work. By the way, the brushes themselves cannot be moved to a vertical position as on other machines. They rise at a small angle and simply rest against the hood. And in order to fill the wash of fluid into the tank, you will have to use the dexterity of a stunt artist. Although all this is trifles and nitpicking. Often there are complaints about a bus pipe of the expansion tank. Moreover, it is better to change the sample with the tank. As practice shows, it will not last long after updating the pipe. There are also complaints about the interior equipment. The multimeter system is periodically buggy, the dashboard may partially or completely go out, ABS and ESP, rear door and power window servos fail. True, it should be noted that all these defects are not of a massive nature and, of course, they are not drawn to statistics. With age, crickets may appear in the cabin, decorative linings on door cards may crack and some spoltonies are not satisfied with soundproofing. As for the engines, the entire range of Kazalin engines was borrowed from the Vyach concern. Moreover, they have already managed to recover from childhood diseases, although they have not become absolutely reliable. On 2 liter after 100,000 km, the timing chain is extended, the engine mounts wear out, the oxygen sensors and ignition coils burn, the EGR exhaust gas recirculation system valve fails. Yes, and oil consumption can reach a liter per 1,000 km. Moreover, it is not so easy to control its level. There is no probe in the engine, the information is wired in the multimedia. The sensor after each topping up of oil may fail, not showing its real level. Nevertheless, the resource of this motor is about 250-350,000 km. Although, at the same time, it cannot be called ideally reliable. Even more problems were presented by petrol V6s with a volume of 3.0 and 3.6 liters. On the first Macans, even with a slight mileage, scuffs appeared on the cylinder mirror. Dealers explained this as a factory defect, and to their credit, they repaired or even changed the motor under warranty for free. The resource of the 60s changed during normal operation exceeds 150-180 thousand kilometers. However, usually the chain is changed earlier, since the camshaft bag gasket has to be changed 30,000 earlier. Despite all of the above, the option with a 3-liter gasoline engine is the best choice in terms of reliability. In addition, the engine is well cheap and the transmission easily withstands its increased torque. The new 2.9-litre V6 with two turbochargers in the collapse of the cylinder block has not yet overgrown with statistics of malfunctions. But, like the rest of the 6, they are subjects to endoscopy before purchase, if everything else suits. The most common in the Macan engine range is the diesel V6. He has proven himself from the very best side. Only on high mileage, closer to 250,000 km, can the high-pressure fuel pump and turbocharger sweat. By this time, injection nozzles and glow plugs will usually require updating. The timing chain resource, together with the tension and rollers, is about 300,000 km. V6 motors are also distinguished by snotty, however, only after 150-200,000. When the seals of the crankshafts and camshafts, the rear timing cover, the gasket of the heat exchanger and the oil cup begin to leak. Mechanics do not consider this a serious drawback of motors. Of course, leaks must be eliminated, but not in emergency order and not all at once.
Moreover, it is generally advised not to bother with leaks between the gearbox and the engine. It is easier and cheaper to add oil, especially since it does not take so much. All engines were combined with a 7-speed PDK robotic box. By and large, this robot is an analog of the S-tronic box with all its pluses and minuses. This cup has not bypassed the Porsche Macan. The unit could kick both on a modest 20,000 to 30,000 km of run and solve without problems up to 200,000. All the full cost of replacing the mechatronics unit and the clutch assembly. In addition, the unit was constantly modernized, the software was being finalized. And over the years, PDK has become more reliable and durable. If you do not tear and ruin the car off-road, service it on time and with high quality, then the box today is guaranteed to take care of 150 to 100,000 km and even more. Also hassle-free and all-wheel drive transmission. Again, problems with it happen mainly due to the fault of the drivers themselves, who confuse the crossover with a seasoned SUV or with a venerable supercar. The transfer box, clutch and both gearboxes must be regularly changed oil. But even with timely maintenance, problems with the rear differential can occur. However, this malfunction is not common, but nevertheless cars with symptoms of wear on the rear gears come across. You can check the gearbox only in circle or start interchanges. Symptoms of wear are CV joint leaks, vibration, knocking on jerky movement in corners after speeds of 40 to 60 km per hour. There are no frankly weak points in the suspension. However, spending on it is directly proportional to the driving style. The more aggressive the driver, the more often you will have to call in for service to repair the chassis. Against the background of other elements of the chassis, the front struts and stabilizer bushings, wheel bearings and ball bearings, as well as levers with silent blocks, are the fastest to surrender. In the steering, the rack was often changed under warranty, but even more often it was necessary to update the steering shaft cross. So, should you buy a used Porsche Macan? Certainly. After all, a premium sport crossover 4 to 5 years old is sold for a third of its price. But finding a decent copy will not be so easy. What can you do? Beauty, power and prestige require some sacrifice. And diagnostics before buying such a machine is vital. Do not forget that the cost of spare parts and repairs, as well as the maintenance of such a car, is very high. If you have or had such a model, share information about what and how it breaks in the comments.